Alright guys, welcome to another video in Laravel and my name is Jerome. So uh, we have we are not yet done with our FRAD tutorial. Uh, basically the uh, previous videos are uh, static pages that uh, where we uh, demonstrated to pull up multiple data that but it was only coming from the data that we manually entered in, into the system. All right, so for right now, sorry about that. So right now we're gonna be creating the actual CRUD. So we're gonna be creating another controller, which we're gonna be naming it as Post Controller. All right, so that's the one that will be uh, that will function uh, for the create, read, update, and delete. So here in the terminal, we can just say uh, PHP artisan make controller. Hold on, sorry about that. All right. All right. See so yeah. So what I'm doing right now, sorry, I forgot to switch the video. So what I'm doing right now, we're gonna be creating a post controller. So you can say PHP artisan uh, make controller, and then add the name. Okay, we're gonna be naming it post controller, and we are this time we're gonna be needing a flag, which is the resource flag. Uh, what it does is it will auto generate a functions uh, uh, that we need in order to create read update and delete unlike before in our pages controller uh, this functions right here we just manually created it okay so i'm gonna say uh, enter right over here now our post controller is created this is what i'm talking about the in uh, the public functions create store uh, for storing data showing for displaying single posts etc and we're going to be using that uh, in, in just a moment all right so we need uh, another folder let's clear this one first we need another folder for post for the blog post that when a user click this the user will be routed to the all the uh, posts of your website so basically in facebook it's the timeline all right so um, this is the folder that holds that contain our static pages so we're gonna be creating also for post we're naming it post and for the home page we're gonna be naming it index dot blade dot php that's the home page for post not the home page for the entire site and then show that blade dot php for the single post and um edit that blade at php for editing the post and we also need uh create right create that blade at php that contains the form that will allow you the user to enter the title and the content of the post and then submit it using a button all right so yeah this is gonna be a very simple page uh, for crud right so for index, we can just go ahead and copy the content of the index for pages and paste it here in post. All right, now we're ready. Uh, this page is ready to uh, display data. We can go to post controller, and now we can use SQL queries to pull up data from our database. All right, so uh, we're gonna say post, that's our variable, and the post. All right, hold on. Okay, by the way, uh, yeah, we need a model. Sorry about that. We need a model. A model A model is basically the class that will um, complete the functionality for uh, cre creating, reading, and updating data I'm going to show you. So actually, I'm not sure if I, we have this one right here, post. I, I had a feeling that I, I created this not in a recording, all right, because I was playing around with my with my uh, code right here. Let me just delete this one first, all right. Go, all right. So let's go here. I'm going to delete first this model. It's gonna unfair to you guys that I, maybe I did not capture this in a recording. So basically, yeah, we only have by default the user model that has all the functionalities, but we need one for creating, reading, and updating, and deleting data. So we're gonna say create, uh, I'm sorry, PHP artisan uh, make, make model, and then uh, we, we're gonna be naming it post. All right, now it's created right over here. So you're basically that's it. I just wanted to show you how to create it. 
So now we can import this class that has all the functionality. If you press Control key on your keyboard and click this in Windows, Command in Mac, you're going to see all the crazy things that we need uh, to complete uh, for, for the CRUD functionality. All right, CRUD, C-R-U-D. I'm not sure how people pronounce it there, but yeah, it's the creation, uh, reading, and updating data. All right, so going back to post, now that we have the model, we can import it right over here. We can say use, app, and then uh, post, right, the class name. Now we can use the class name in our index. We can say post equal the class name, right? And then we can say order by, this is the SQL query. And then you can say ID uh, descending, all right? For That's how we sort the, in this example, just how we're going to sorting the database from our, uh, information from our database, which is right now we only have one data. And then uh, you, you need to add get. All right, so now we, have, we can return this uh, variable into our index.blade.php by saying return view uh, post and then uh, index. All right, it's located in the post folder. And now we can say here a uh, width and then post and then the variable post. All right, now we can go back to our index.blade.php and we can now, since it's going to be an array, right? Uh, because uh, uh, basically what it's doing is we're using the um, static way of calling a class and Laravel, we're going to convert it into an object that will hold the title content. Right, so remember, in our uh, database migration, hold on, okay, I'm not sure if we have that migration. All right, well, anyway, uh, for some reason, I don't have the migration for post, but we'll, we'll create that, okay? I, I might have, I think I did that in the last video, but for some reason, I, I might have accidentally deleted it. So, uh, for our post controller, uh, we, we will try to generate first. I'm sure this is connected to our database. Okay, it's right over here, our database name. And yeah, I have I, I have confidence this, go, this is going to work. So let's go back to the index that blade.php. And we're gonna be using here if, uh, first we're gonna be checking if there's data by using if statement. We can say count the variable post that we just created, okay, post. If it's greater than zero, that means does it have data or not? Um, and then for each, of course, right? And we can say post right over here and then say post. Okay, now inside that we can uh, display post, right? Uh, we're gonna be using a list, okay? So let's say ul li I'm putting this ul above the if state, uh, below the if, above the for each, and then the closing tag of the ul right over here, and the list should be here. But right now we only have one data, but later when we add data, uh, we will be able to display all of them right here. So what we're going to display, post, right? So this is our it's supposed to be to display here in the blog uh, post and the blog link okay so let's double check our nav bar it's in the it's right over here okay it the uh, link is correct and in our page uh, post controller it's routing to post that index now we need to update the routes okay here so this is the static way of uh, uh, requesting uh, information from from the functions inside the pages controller but right now we we are working on post controller so we can see route and we are using resource right uh, and then you can say the post that's the url okay that's the url and then the controller post controller all right and then semicolon 
double check everything. So we have routes, we have the model, uh, and then we have imported that model to our post controller. We have an SQL query, and we have the page that will display the what's inside in the post uh, variable, which is an array. All right. So let's let's refresh our page. Go back to blog page, and as you can see, we have a data here. Uh, it's pulling up the post one. Remember uh, our database uh, here. I'm gonna show you. It's right over here, Jmore prod, and in our post table. All right. Uh, we have the title is post one, and the content is a quick brown brown fox jump over the lazy dog, which I just random randomly type. And in our uh, app, we have here ID is equal to one, title is equal to post, all right, and then the content, uh, which is the quick brown fox jump over the laser. But of course, we don't want this to this this array uh, to be displayed on the user, so we can say here post title. That means we're just referring to the title right over here. Okay, so this is object oriented programming and this is the object um, operator for PHP in JavaScript it's dot okay it's, it, it will say post dot title all right this is going to be uh, the property of the object okay which is stored in the post variable all right so maybe we'll let's create for the content later we'll be we will we'll, uh, make this look uh, better our right, right now it's just a list so for the content, we can just say content, and then refresh the page. All right, there you go. We have the post title and the uh, uh, quick brown fox jump over the la lazy dog. And when we go back to our database, we also have a column created at and updated at. If you want, you can copy this one and display the created at. Okay, save the file, and then refresh our page right over here now it displays the date when that data was created all right it's december 4 all right so thank you guys for watching it's 12 minutes i'll see you in the next video to finish our tutorial